It is my honor to welcome you to the 2018 International Tennis Hall of Fame induction ceremony. The International Tennis Hall of Fame is a living monument to those who've authored the history of this beautiful sport. It represents the highest level of achievement in tennis, either by a great champion on the court or by a contributor to the sport off the court. Today, we honor two remarkable champions, Helena Sukova of the Czech Republic and Michael Stieg of Germany. Growing up, up next to my sister was not an easy task. She was older, smarter, and unfortunately taller. <laughs> Any games we ever played, she always had to win. That's why she became one of the best tennis players ever played the game of tennis. Ladies and gentlemen, Helena Sukova. To be fair and speak from deep in my heart, then I have to start from the beginning. On this big occasion, I would like to remember some of the most influential names from Czechoslovakia that made our sport so popular, I truly fear their role in my achievement of being inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame today. I'm also very happy to say that Jan joins my team of friends here today. I must also add the name of Ivan Lendl, the multiple Grand Slam singles champion whose forehand I try to copy. I stand here as a representative of women's tennis and the most important heartfelt person for me is my mom, Vera. Being a Wimbledon singles finalist and a top five world ranked player, she will forever be a tennis legend. I only hope that this great achievement of mine will inspire more young players and kids to find love in the sport of tennis and will bring more success into our small country of 10 million people. Thank you. As a young child in New Zealand, I grew up with my tennis playing brothers pretending to be Rod Laver or Ken Rosewell in a Wimbledon final. How that Kiwi kid connected with a German across the other side of the world is testament to the truly international flavour of tennis. The defining moment of his Hall of Fame career was winning the Wimbledon men's singles title in 1991 against all odds. He had this steely look in his eyes and he said, there's no way I'm going to lose this match. And of course he didn't. Mikhail is a man true to his word. It is with great pleasure that I introduce my great friend and 2018 International Tennis Hall of Fame inductee, Mikhail Stisch. When I first stepped on center court, um, and a lot of the guys here obviously know that, is you had that wooden beam where it has that little saying of uh, Ron Kipling's um, poem where it says like, if you meet with uh, triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. It just gave me the understanding, especially at Wimbledon, but on any court in the world, that you can only be a respectful and true tennis player, no matter if you win or lose, if you show that respect to your opponent, winning and losing. After I won Wimbledon and, uh, uh, in 92, the first year it happened, I came to the locker room at Wimbledon and uh, Fred Perry was standing in the locker room. So he came up to me and he took my hand and uh, he gave me a speech for about five to seven minutes. That I'm a great tennis player, I did a great job in 91, I can do it again. It just showed me that no matter what generation you're in and no matter what you've done or what you've achieved, it's, it's about the people you meet, it's about how we um, treat each other and how we respect each other and how we go along with each other. And that is the great thing about our sport and about, about tennis, that it's not all about winning or losing, it's about the people that make all that possible. When I retired, the most thing I missed were the players. The guys that I used to travel with around the whole year. That's why I'm so thankful to be inducted this year and having the opportunity to be part of this again in a different way, but in a very special way. I think uh, this sport will be great over the next decades to come, and I promise oh, I'll do my best um, 
to be part of this and to help this and uh, make this happen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, as of now, we have 254 members of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And I'd like to have you join me in welcoming the last two, Michael and Helena. Uh, congratulations on your careers. Congratulations on all you've done for the game and what you're gonna do for the game as we go on.